Hi everyone, it's Robin the Artsy Bohemian coming to you from a studio in Los Angeles, California. And I hope you're all doing well. I am excited about this new project that we're going to be starting. Last week I had asked you if you were interested in doing a series based on Jean Oliver's book, The Painted Art Jur Journal. And I had quite a nice response, so that's what we're going to do. I, s I have spent some time uh, dissecting the book a little bit more and... Um, I think what I want to do is let you know about some things that I have on order so that for next week we can start maybe making the actual journal. But for this um, lesson, I thought we would make some uh, papers and some fibers and fabrics um, and dye them with some rust. And I'm going to go over alternatives to rust I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but I'll show you two different methods. I'm hoping we can get through all of it, um, those two methods in this lesson. So if you don't have this journal, I mean this book, I'll leave a link down below. You can get it from her website, and she gives you a really cool, um, uh, see it's, it's signed here by her, and then she gives you, I, can't, I don't know where I put it, but a... Uh, a piece of paper that she also signs as well. So, um, I this is kind of how I have to work. I need to have space, obviously, but I need to see everything so I won't forget to tell you. So I'm going to start taking these things away, and um, as we begin. But first, I thought I would show you in the book. Jean talks about making journals um, from things that you already have. And I'm going to show you a couple things that you might want to think about. And, and I'm sure you, you have at least one of these items. So the first thing is, let me know in the, the comments down below if you have bought planners and then never used them like me. Um, I bought this in 2015 and I kind of wrote in it and I drew in it a little bit, but honestly, it's too small. I look at, I like, I am bold. I like to draw on things and I like to like write really big. I don't want to write in these tiny little boxes. So I, what I, if you want to, you can take a planner or a journal that you bought and it's just sitting collecting dust and um, she goes over how to take an old book which is basically what this is you can take an old book and shows you uh, some things that you can do to turn it into an art journal so this is one thing that I'm sure you have knowing that most of you who follow me are paper junkies. So, come on. You can admit it. Now, what I'm probably going to use, because I've been collecting these for a while, is some kind of old book or ledger. <clears throat> it, it's possible that I might work on two at once, like the that book that I just showed you and maybe a ledger. Um, these are kind of hard to find. But if you go on eBay and just type in vintage ledger, you'll probably get a bunch of different things, but you might wind up finding a treasure like this. And the ones that are really cool are the ones that have handwritten content in them, especially if they have like, uh, if it's written in India ink. So I will probably wind up using this, one of these. I also have this, this is kind of cool too. This is a better size actually for me. So who knows? So I just, I'm just giving you some ideas and I know you probably have something you can use. Even if it's new, you can make it look old and um, we'll you know work on that. Um, as this series goes. I have to tell you that I'm very excited that we're going to be doing a series because for me, creating content on a weekly basis and trying to figure out a project to do every single week is very time consuming. And 
if I have something that I can work on over a period of time, it's a little easier. And I think it's probably beneficial for you as well because you're actually going to make a journal and you're going to, or a planner, and you're going to be able to utilize it. So my goal is to use this journal maybe as a daily, you know, to-do list and maybe also adding in some painting. I'm not exactly sure. So anyway, um, those are some ideas for you to think about. For for the, the project that I'm going to show you today, which is in her book, it is about taking um, fibers and resting them like this. And so... If you have, if you collect rusty things like I do, I have been collecting rusty things for a long time. I use them in, in assemblages and I haven't done anything with them for a long time, but um, this will be perfect for you. But if you don't have anything rusty, we can always use uh, alcohol inks or watered down paint. There's always a way to make something even if you don't have all the supplies so this is her process I looked it over and um, we're just gonna go ahead and play with that so um, and you might be going well what am I gonna use those things for I think they'd be fun to add um, as collages so all of the things that I've been making over you know the past year or so for these tutorials <coughs> <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, I always wind up using copy dyed cheesecloth for something. So you could make rust dyed cheesecloth to to do to use as layers. You can. I'm also gonna. Um, we're also gonna take some paper towels and um, rust them up. Um, you can take an old pillowcase or some muslin or some fabric strips. Use neutral colors, like white or off-white. I'm going to play around with some lace. And then I'm going to tie everything up <clears throat> with uh, some Hug Snug. You can use cord if you want to, which I'm probably going to use as well. Because all of it, you'll be able to use in your journals at some point. Whether it's using it for collage or the cover. Um, the pot, It's just a really nice thing to have. I wanted to show you this. When I, years ago, I took a class on dyeing um, velvet and um, uh, some fabrics. And we had to lay our pieces on this really heavy duty kind of paper towel. And I've never gotten rid of it because I thought they were so pretty. So this is kind of something that you can also do because we're going to be laying our, um, our bundles of rusted pieces once we wrap them up on to paper and it could be cheap typewriter paper or watercolor paper and you can use those in your journal. Now, if you don't like rust, um, when, we, uh, when I show you what to do with the alcohol ink, you can use any color you want. If you like pink, use pink. If you like blue, use blue. If you don't have alcohol ink, use paint. It's, it'll be kind of the same process. So um, I have things that I'm going to be dyeing here. I also have this wonderful cheesecloth that I found on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. It's really beautiful, very fine, fine mesh cheesecloth. I'm going to use typewriter paper lace and then this is some fabric that I dyed with coffee so I might do a little bit of that just to see the contrast and some paper towels um, before we start you're gonna want to get a a bottle kind of some kind of spray bottle you can usually buy these like at Target in the travel section they have them so that you can you know buy them when you go travel little sprayers or if you have an old perfume bottle that you don't use you can fill it up with water and so the the uh, measurement is one to one so half water and half vinegar and you, I'm going to also have a bottle of water so what I thought we would do first is make them look pretty so find a tag and mark it 
vinegar and water, and then the other one will say water. And then you can put um, clear packing tape over it so it will uh, so it won't get ruined. So let's do this. And this one is water. Since the pandemic, you know, we have bleach. Uh, I made little bleach solutions, so I did the same thing. I uh, made them look pretty. I made a little container like this with a little bit of bleach and some essential oils so it's not stinky. And then, you know, we use that to clean stuff. Okay, so let's put that away. So my thought was, this is a process that takes time. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you the process. We're gonna wrap our pieces of fabric and some paper and the rusted solution. And then next week we'll do the reveal. So I'll show you, I won't, un I won't undo it until next week. So it's gonna be a surprise, which is kind of fun. So here's a piece, I'm going to just take a piece of watercolor paper. Again, if you don't have any of this stuff, just use regular paper. Because you're going to be able to use it in your um, your journal, right? Instead of coffee dyed paper, you can use rust, rusted paper. It's not going to be completely rusted, it's going to have splotches on it. Because this is what we're going to lay our pieces on. So I have this old horseshoe. And I have some, a railroad tie here, like as you can see. And these are some of the things I'm gonna start out with. Um, what you need to do is you need to take your vinegar and water solution and wet the piece that you're gonna be using with the vinegar and water solution. So I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna start with the paper towels. And this is big, so I think I'm gonna use the uh, railroad tie. And we'll see how this goes. So um, I think she said to water it, you know, keep putting the vinegar on it, the solution, as you wrap it. Make it completely saturated. going to wrap it with some cord here and hopefully the color will bleed through a little bit <clears throat> and then we'll have some really cool pieces to work on to have while we make our fun journal for next year So I'm going to do another one. Let's see. Maybe I'll use this for the fabric. Actually, I think I'll do it with the cheesecloth. You can use muslin, any kind of cotton fabric. Um, I am gonna be using this lace, which is a synthetic, so we'll see how that works.
after um, I do this, I'm going to leave it outside for a while. I, I live in a, you know, fairly dry climate. So if you live in an area where it, it's raining, um, you might want to find a place in your house or studio or garage just to leave it. And then we can uh, reveal it together on next Tuesday. So this is probably not going to be, you know what I think I'm going to do? I am going, because this is such an odd shape, I'm going to wrap it around like this. You might want to wear gloves if you have sensitive skin. I have kind of sensitive skin, so so far the vinegar isn't bothering me but and then you know have some towels paper towels by so that you can clean your hands off if my friend Teresa is watching I know you're gonna love this you've probably done something like this already my friend Teresa loves rusty stuff Those of you who um, are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I will have links down below for my online school where I teach you how to make a junk journal from scratch. It has over 20 hours of content. And nothing I show you on YouTube is in that class. It's only for my paid students. And I also have bohemian style, unconventional bohemian style jewelry classes. And an Etsy store, of course. The holiday season's coming, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna start listing my jewelry, which I never do in my store. I usually save it for um you know, craft shows and stuff, but that's not happening this year, so This one took a little bit of time, but I really wanted to make sure that I got it all wrapped up. So we'll see. Just keep spraying this to make sure that that. And I think what I'll do on this one is I'm going to wrap it with some Hug Snug, which is some rayon seam binding. And see if it comes through. It's kind of exciting. If you've ever tie-dyed, it's kind of that same thing where you just don't know what you're, what's going to happen. And again, thank you guys for all your sweet comments. That means a lot. Um, and you were also sweet uh, last week. I know some of you were concerned that you didn't know where I was. <laughs> it's just so busy. Thank goodness. But Okay, so there's one. And I think I'll do this one. Now, the uh, this is watercolor paper under here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay some of these on the watercolor paper and then the typewriter paper to see what happens. See if it leaks through. So this one, I have some rusty old railroad nails. We'll 
see how this works. I don't even know if this will work with this fabric, but we'll see. Alright, so now <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little thing with the um, alcohol ink. And a paintbrush. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll put it in here. Yeah, and like I said, just use whatever color you want. So I'm going to plop in some ginger. The ginger is kind of a rust color. I'm going to do a little bit of brown, the latte. Oh, maybe not because this is not coming in done. And let's just take some paper towel and kind of twist it. water to it opened up so it, it will absorb a little bit better. it all in the ink. And let's do a little bit with some fabric. So it looks pretty close to rust without having rest, so we'll see how it works. I'm just tearing a piece of fabric here. Same thing on this one, I'm going to wet it with water first. Actually, I might just dunk it in some water. Soaking up the rest of the ink in here. That looks kind of cool. Just like that. This. And 
have about six in binding. Oh, this one I had dyed with the uh, coffee. Getting a nice little pile of cool colors here. Colors always look more intense when they're wet, so who knows what it'll look, it'll look like when it's dry, but I kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. And then let's just plop it on some paper. Might do a little bit more on this napkin. on the coffee dyed paper. I mean coffee dyed <gasps> fabric. You notice I'm not cutting, I'm not doing anything big. These are just experiments and if I like them then I can make them bigger. You know, do, do bigger pieces. This is just water that I'm spraying on here. Okay guys, so um, this will be fun to show you what it looks like next week. And I will put links down below for the type of glue that I ordered. It's a PVA acid um, pH balanced um, glue. It's not too expensive. It's been around for a long time. Um, and also some of the other links that I told you about like for the cheesecloth and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you are all well. And I really appreciate you watching and all your kind comments. And like I said, I will have links down below for my online school for unconventional bohemian junk journals and jewelry. See you in the next video.